Let's take a look at how to create a turntable animation in Creo Parametric. And this question came up in the Ask the Experts session at LiveWorks this year. And what's meant by a turntable animation, someone asked if they could make a function whereby you could just create a movie and let me see if I can replicate this. Basically where you have a model just spin around over and over so that you could make a movie and embed it on a website or something. And I can't remember if it was Paul Sagar or Martin Mueller from PTC who made the suggestion of just using an animation to do it and I'll show you what I mean by that and first off you want to start off with your model at 90 degree positions from each other and you might be able to do that with some of the saved views for example I could start with the left view and then go to the front view and then go to the right view and so on uh, Let's see, what would be the one, the back view. Uh, so that kind of represents what you would want to interpolate between. But I found that I didn't like the way that those different views look, especially because the spin center is off center. So then the animation ended up looking off center. So I'm going to start off with a saved view that I created. And this is the first position that I want to have. Now I want to rotate the model exactly 90 degrees. So to do that, I'm going to go to the saved orientations drop down list and then choose reorient. And let's change from orient by reference to dynamic orient. And I want to spin about the vertical in 90 degree increments. So let's enter in 90 and hit the enter key. And now I'm going to save this as turntable dash two. And now I have that view created. Let's change this rotation exactly to 180. And let's then save this as turntable dash three. And finally, let's change this. For some reason, I think 270 doesn't work. Yeah, I think you have to do like minus 90. The values, I believe, go from minus 180 to uh, positive 180. And let's save that as turntable four. So now I have my four saved views that I want to use for the animation. That's good. Let's get out of the dialog box. And now we're going to use animation mode. And animation mode is one of those modules that you get with every license of Creo Parametric. And it is severely underused. To get to animation mode, click on the applications menu. And then you can choose animation. And here we have our timeline. And right now this is set up to go for 10 seconds. What we're going to do is we're going to place those different views at different times. So let's choose view at time. And instead of using back, I'm going to use turntable one. And we're going to have that at a value of zero seconds. So I'll click apply. And there you can see it located on my timeline. And then I'm going to have turntable two happen at two seconds and let's click apply and then choose turntable three view and have that oops at four seconds and then apply and then let's go to turntable four and we're gonna have that one at six seconds apply and I like to go back to the very first one at the end of the sequence let's do this at eight seconds and click apply and so I'm only gonna have this run for eight seconds let me close out of here and let's click on the time domain command and change the end time to eight seconds and for the rate I'm gonna use a rate of 25 I know the human vision is like 24 frames per second which is why cameras run at that speed uh, but for some reason Creo wants to output at 25 uh, frames per second that's the default setting so I'm gonna do the same for the rate and let's click OK you'll notice that the timeline has adjusted here so now that we have our uh, time set up in here with our different events just want to point out that you can do other different kinds of events like having different transparencies applied at different times or different style states applied at different times so let's click the generate button for the animation and here you can see it is interpolating from each 
of our saved views at the different times. And down at the bottom of the screen, you can see the progress as it is computing. And now we're back. That took a few minutes to generate the animation. Let's click on the playback command. And here we can hit the play button in order to see it. And you can crank up the speed if you want. But the real thing I want to generate out of this is a movie. And you can do that by clicking on the capture icon, which looks like the save button. And let me choose to save this. I'm just going to save it right out to my desktop so I can access it easily. And let me cancel out of here. And we have the format. You can go to the drop down list and set up generating an MPEG movie. You could do an AVI movie. And you can see that you also have image options like JPEG and TIFF and bitmap. And I believe that these will generate at each uh, segment that you have in your animation. And here we have our resolution. You have a drop down list that you could change to other different ones. Here's where you can choose to render the different frames. So again, every single license of Creole Parametric comes with the rendering module. So I could set up a background if I wanted to. But I just want to generate this MPEG movie. Let's click the OK button. And it is now generating the different frames. You can see the progress down at the bottom of the screen. And we will come back when the movie is ready. And the animation has completed saving out the MPEG file. That is good. If I want to, I could close out of this. It tells me, hey, if you exit out, you're going to end up losing this animation. If I don't want to run it again later on, I could also save the animation out. And animation one has been saved. So here we are out on the desktop. And here we have the animation playback file that I could use later on if I don't want to regenerate the animation. And here we have our MPEG movie. Let's double click on that to play it. And here we have it in our default player. And you can see again, we just have this turntable animation where we have our model spinning around and around. So let me know in the comments section if you've ever used the animation module or if you think that this might be useful to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. And if you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.